bump, bump, bump. Good times <laughs> never been so good. So good. So good. So good. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. I just want to say thank you to all my returning subscribers and to my new subscribers. Thanks for supporting my channel, watching my videos, hitting that like button and commenting. Everything helps my channel grow and I greatly appreciate it because without you guys, I wouldn't be motivated to do these videos. Yeah, so I was FaceTiming with my daughter today and uh she was getting a blizzard like last week they were getting plus 14 plus 16 in ontario and uh, they're getting a blizzard this afternoon so weather is crazy we have beautiful blue sun blue skies with sun but uh it's quite nippy cold out there i have to keep the chickens in i sure do anyways uh today's video is a thrift store haul, a small Timu haul, and a little bit about uh, how I store my diamond art. Uh, the when they're the completed ones, and then um, how I store the little beads. I call them beads, diamonds. I've heard them being called drills. So whatever you call them, I'm going to show you how I store mine with some Timu products. All right, I have Max beside me. He's in the stroller. So hopefully he'll be good. And I hope you're sitting with a beverage. I poured myself a ginger lemon tea and it's so good. Mm-hmm. So on Sunday, St. Patrick's Day, I was setting up to do a video to show that Irish box. And then I looked at Sean and I said, uh, do you want to go live? And he says, yes. So we went live. So if you missed that video, it is up. Um, I think you need to go to the top where it says videos and comments and stuff. And uh, you need to hit on live and that video will be under there. I had no idea what we were, we were doing because it was my very first video. So it kept telling me, first we were sideways because I was trying to get this, you know, the full screen. And when we turned it, it kind of chopped us off. So if any YouTubers out there are watching and you can help me, <laughs> I'm using my iPhone to record on. So how do I get it to fill the screen? I would love to know for the next one. So yeah, it was pretty funny because uh, we made green drinks and I left the kitchen for a minute and I come back to find out that my drink was spiked. <laughs> Thanks to Sean, but that's okay because it was St. Patrick's Day and we were having fun with you all. It was a lot of fun. So when I go live again, I will definitely give you as a heads up. But um, yeah, I just would love to know how to go land. Is it landscape? Yes. All right. Let's get into this thrift store haul. So everything in this little bag that I got, my receipt was here. My total cost was $18.30, so I did really well. Some of it I did buy for my Reborn doll, Roisin, because um, she's adorable, and I wanna dress her up, right, and dress her to the, to the seasons. I didn't get to put this on her on the weekend because it was in the bag still, but I have it for next year, and it's a little onesie, and it says Lucky Charm. It is going to be big on her because it's a size three to six months and she fits into a uh, newborn or a zero to three, but that's okay. It's a onesie. We'll tuck all this in and that's the part you'll see on her. So I think th these things were like a dollar. Yeah. Crazy. I know. Oh, I got her these little pants. These are Carter. These are newborn. Look at how cute they are. So she got those, those are definitely gonna fit her. And I got this, and like I said, everything was like a dollar or whatever. I have the, yeah, she took, all the clothing was like a dollar for the baby stuff. This one was 10 pounds, it says one month. I think this is gonna fit her. I had to get it, it's adorable, it is so soft. And when you buy these used baby clothes, like some of it's not even worn, right? Look at the little uh, neck on it. So I was happy to find that one as well. Got that. 
this is adorable. So I just need to find her some jeans or a little pair of brown pants. I couldn't say no to this little hoodie <laughs> with the dog on it. How sweet is that? And this size, this was just one you, oh, this is Carter's newborn. So five to eight pounds and she weighs five pounds. This is definitely gonna fit her. I think it's the cutest thing ever. This would be really cute on a little boy. I would love to have a little boy uh, reborn. There's one that I want um, that's the same who made the one that I have. I just haven't found one that's for sale yet. I'm searching. Now this is unbelievable. I paid $2 for this, okay? It has a tag on it from, um, I'm gonna say Walmart because it's George and it's three months and it's a two piece set. It was never worn. It still has the tag. So original price was $16, right? They marked it down to $11 and I paid $2. So it is the cutest little dress. It's black velvet. I love it. And a little dress will fit her just fine, even if it goes down to her feet. Little bow and all in the back. And that's not all. It came with little bloomers. So I paid $2 for a brand new dress that was 16 in the store. Tag still on it, so obviously it didn't fit or they didn't like it when they donated it. So I was happy to find that. Now for myself, I love to wear skorts in the summertime instead of shorts. So, you know, a little skirt with the shorts underneath. This is from Reitman's. It's a large, it says Yoga Life. It's uh, cotton and there you have it. It's beautiful. So down here, it does say uh, Yoga Life on it. And you get your, uh, yeah, get your little shorts there underneath. I don't think this has been worn very much. So I love that and I will wear this in the summertime. And I paid, let me just check and see if, uh, <sighs> I'm trying to see here. I'm gonna say I paid $4 for this. Or there was clothing for $6 marked down 50%. Let's say I paid $3 for this. That would be about right. $3 for that. I love going to that thrift store. Now I seen this and it's a size small probably won't fit me but this is so my daughter and so i will probably give this to her uh i'm gonna say that this was uh three dollars just look at this so it's a tank top i'm gonna try to try it on kind of looks big enough if it's too tight though i will give it away to her just look at the detail on it it's all beautiful sparkly i love it the tags were on it. She pulled them off. When the store that I shop in, they pull off all the tags for some reason. Some thrift stores do that. So that's what this one did. I'm going to say that this was $3 on my receipt. Now, housewares, they had, you know, the little lace uh, doilies and stuff. So they were three for $1. So I picked up six of them. So I bought, I like these longer ones. So I bought that one. And I have these all over my house because my house is um, old fashioned country because we love antiques. So everything is old fashioned looking. Uh, then I grabbed this one. I think that, oh, here it goes this way. I think these are grapes. Like these little baubles kind of sit up a bit. So then I got that one. So one, two, and this one would be number three. All for a dollar. Now, I love this one too. It's stained, but that's okay. I'm going to spray it and wash it, and we will get those stains out. 
So three long ones. And then I've got a square one, which I liked as well. So one. Oh, another long one, two. This one's got quite a few stains on it too, but I'll get all those stains out with my spray. Two and then three. I thought this one was gorgeous. It's black, it's got black. And I do have a few lamps that kind of have a black base, so Yes, so three, of, so six of those for $2, great deal. Now I have one of these in green and I use it a lot. I have it actually at the sink. So I, when I seen it in pink, I was like, yes, please. It was $1.30. It's just a little glass, uh, little glass tray for $1.30. And the, it's kind of a purpley pink, but I'm gonna sit it down in my craft room. I'm gonna put my candle on it. So that was another item that I bought. So I got all that for $18. There you have it. And if you remember that little black velvet dress was 16 and I got it all for 18. So I was happy with that shop. So I'm gonna throw all that to the laundry room to wash. And I totally forgot about the little um, St. Patrick's Day, or I would have put it on her. But yeah, there's my total. 1830, where are you guys? Right there. 1830 for all of it. I was quite happy with that. All right, another sip of tea. Let me know what you are drinking while you're watching this video. I just had water but I needed, I needed a hot liquid. All right, let's get into this Timu order. Now, I didn't do this, it came like this. So it came with this big rip in the side and I hope that nothing fell out of it. Now, I, and I see that there's a box in there too and it's all squished. So Timu, I don't understand why you squish everything into a bag and send it out to us. I didn't bring my scissors. Let me go grab the scissors. I'll be right back. Can I get my balance? One of those days where I'm wobbly. Right, Max? I don't have my balance. There he is. Can you see him? <laughs> All right, Timu. Now this is a small order and I see that there's another one sitting at the post office that came in after I got this one. So maybe tomorrow I'll drive down there. I don't feel like going today. Not today. Might have more energy tomorrow to go. I have days like this. I have a day where I got a ton of energy and I go, 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 go. Kind of like yesterday. And then I have another day where it's like, oh, I need to recover from yesterday. What's the matter, little one? He squeaks a lot. Can you stay there? We're going to look at this Timu. So, um, I might put prices of what I paid, but I did get some money back on some of this. Timu have changed where uh, you used to just hit refund and if something, well, you still can. You can hit refund if something arrives broken or isn't just as you thought it was going to be when, when you got it. doesn't look like the photo. And then they have another one where it says price adjustment. So I hit that last night when I received all this and I gotta think about $1.14 back. So don't forget to do that when you are, when you are uh, ordering from Timu. And don't tell my doctor, but I took the, uh, I took it off. Yeah, I'm, it's feeling much better and I'm using it, so. Right, Max? I did wear it yesterday though, but not, not today. All right, let's get into this. So the first thing I see is the little basket that I bought for my sourdough bread. I am going to insert a picture of uh, the one that I cooked, baked yesterday. I think it's my best to date. Oh, it was delicious. Every loaf I make keeps getting better and better. Look at that beauty in there. And Sean, he, when he was packing his food, he goes, uh, where's the bread that you made? And I said, it takes a two day process. I said, it's ready to bake, but I haven't baked it yet. So off he went with a regular loaf of bread. 
he did take some of my homemade um, buns with him. Now you see, this isn't as I thought it was going to be. It's hard, I thought it was soft. You know, it looks soft in the photograph. Hmm. I'm gonna wash this before I put my loaf of bread in it. But this is the proofing basket. So after you've done all your, you know, stretch and fold and wait time, you would put it into this and uh, put it into this overnight before you bake your bread. So I only bought one because I have been using my stainless steel, but I've been lining it with a tea towel. So I'm gonna try this and see if I like this better. Like, I don't know if the metal from my bowl, my metal bowl is creating cold. So I wanted to try one of these to see if there was a difference. So that's the first item. It, it was inexpensive. Yeah, like you said though, I thought they were, you know, you can't touch that one, but that's okay. Maybe that's, maybe that's what I need. I don't know. Oh, I see what's all crushed. So, oh my goodness, look at this box. This is a makeup brush cleaner and it says, give you a new brush. So I don't wear a lot of makeup, but when I do, I use brushes and I'm bad for cleaning them because what I do is I wash them with the brush cleaner solution and I kind of rub them on a little rubber mat that has, you know, whatever you want to call it, a little bit of grip. And uh, it's not fun cleaning makeup brushes, is it? So I thought I would buy this makeup brush cleaner. It gives you a new brush and it looks like it's powered. Step one, oh, plug in the USB connection adapter. Pour clean water and do not exceed the water level and drop a proper amount of cleaning liquid. So I do have some cleaning liquids, liquid, so let's try this. I will plug this in and try it after we, uh, after I show you everything. Do you know why it's, oh, is it missing pieces? Okay, it's missing the, uh, that's all I got. It's missing the little top part that you uh, would put, oh, do you know what, it fell out. I just looked in here. It fell out, there it is. Yay, it fell out of the box into the bag. This is why I didn't like how they do things. So now I gotta figure out, I don't see any instructions. Oh, right here, okay. We'll figure this out after. It came with that and it came with that, that's the top that you put your brushes into. All right, I'll read the instructions and show you what I think of this. Give you my honest opinion. All right, then I bought this, whatever this is. 10 piece random flowers. Hmm. I'm not sure what it is. You know, you order, oh, I know what these are. You order things, then you totally forget what you ordered. This is a 10 piece magnetic um, oh my God, they're beautiful. They're uh, magnetic bookmarks. Cause my bookmarks are always falling out of my books. Or I drop my book and then I forget what page I was on. Oh yes, these are magnetic. These were not expensive. So I don't even have a book right here, but let's put it on this box. Let's pretend this is a page and we're gonna, oh yeah, they were. They're gonna work better on a piece of paper. Where'd the instructions go? Let's try it on those, if I can get it out. And they're pretty, they're flowers. Yeah, so if we were to fold this up and I need to 
Yep, it's a good hold. All right, so let's see what we got. We got blue with pink flowers. And then we got this beautiful pink one. This is nice. <gasps> Caroline just been keeping it real. <laughs> Let me go get a paper towel. I just threw it in my tea. Oh my goodness. Oh, and now I knocked you guys over. Ugh. All right, are we back? We're back. This is as bad as the live I did. Oh my goodness, won't be drinking that tea. but let's save it. <laughs> oh my goodness, now I'm sticking my fingers in there. I'm not drinking that tea, don't worry. Don't worry. Hopefully, we've, hopefully I've saved it. I don't even know what they're made of. Paper, who knows? All right, next. <laughs> Pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> then there's this one. And this one that looks very similar. And this one's pretty. I think it's just paper glued on. I may have lost that one. But anyway, I have I have 10 uh, bookmarks. I just have to uh, bookmark my page before I drink my tea. And there's that one. They all look very similar, don't they? They're all blue with pink flowers. Except for this one. This one is gray with white flowers. And they are like double-sided so I have 10 well maybe I only have nine now but <laughs> it's fine it's dry I think oh no it's peeled off I'll just yeah it was paper so that one's garbage and it was a pretty one too I'll just throw it out all right on with this haul there's never a dull moment in this house, I tell you. I tell you. Now it looks like, oh, here's another item. Oh, I had bought this to give to Sean for our anniversary, but it came in late. This is for his wallet, because I love him so much and I miss him when he's on the road. I really do. I says to him, I never asked to be sick, it just happened. It says, in case you need a little reminder, I love you now and always. And it's just a little hard, um, like credit card size. And I'm gonna sneak it into his wallet. And then next time he opens it, he'll see this. <laughs> Maybe I'll slide it in in front of his license. Yeah, so I love that little card. It wasn't very expensive. And let's put the tea away so I don't drop it into the tea. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Sneak it into his wallet. He won't even know. All right. And it uh, looks like the last thing I got was my folder. And why did they send me two? I only ordered one. I only need one. I needed the bigger folder size for my diamond art. So this was the A3 size. And they sent me two. They sure did A3. Oh, it's all covered in plastic. Let's open it up and have a look. Where, where, where does it open? Right here. Yeah, I bought the A4, which is the smaller one, which some of my smaller diamond arts are in. But I need this size for all these bigger ones. Let's pull the paper out. I don't know if it says... Put this here so the puppy doesn't get it. I don't even know if it says how many is in here. Oh, 30 protectors. They sent me two, so it looks like uh, I'm set to do <laughs> 60 diamond art. <laughs> There's the other one. Yeah. But I didn't I didn't hold anything up for a thumbnail. Anyways, it's just clear protectors. Now, I just finished one, so I finished this one. This was a Dollarama one. And I know a few of you have this one. Every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. But it's this, but ours is, is very hard to read. 
And then it says my favorite at the bottom. This one took me a few weeks to do because I just sit for a little bit every day and do them. And uh, I don't care how long it takes. So let's see how this one fits in here. Oh, I don't know why I'm all shaky and fumbly today. I did not think I did that much yesterday. This is what happens. Whew. Oh my, if it's perfect. So there you go. These Dollarama ones, I'm not sure what size they are. Um, the ones that we buy from Timu are usually 30 by 40. Yeah, that fits perfect in there. And that is nice because they will all be protected. And if I ever want to, you know, hang one up or put it on the fridge or something, I just go in, take it out, put it back, right? So there you have that. Now, I'm going to show you how I do my diamond art storage, uh, the bead storage. I'm just going to move this stuff over here. Oh my goodness, I'm shaking so much. Now, what I did was, did I bring it over? Hmm, no, nope. let me go grab it. I got a puppy laying on the floor too. I know Max, I'm all over the place. <clears throat> all right, it's okay, I'm back worse than having a child a little baby so what I did was from previously I had bought um, the numbers for the diamond art because they are numbered to the DMC uh, number scheme color scheme and so what I did I've actually bought two because there's a few colors like black which is 310 that you are going to have a ton of so I bought extra, so if I had double, like two vials full of beads that I would have them numbered properly. And you get, like this is, uh, so it's all these, they start at number one and they go to 99. Then they have these letters. I've already pulled these out. Uh, I started to, I'll show you what I did with them. This is the one that I used. I was trying to show you the one that was not used. And then the next page, oh, I see what I did. I doubled them up. Okay, so I have already used those numbers, the 100s to the 164s. And then this one was 165 to 733. This one is an extra. And then 734 all the way down to, it goes to 996. And then it starts 3011. And then that goes all the way to 3866. So I obviously had two of this color and two of this to fill. So those came out. So that's why if you're gonna order these, order um two of them and they were called a set of 444 labels for diamond painting they should be easy enough to find if you're interested in buying these now this is what i did i had bought several of these off uh, timu and i believe when i bought them yeah they were individuals but they hold a lot of beads like they held all the beads that I needed for this diamond art. <clears throat> Let me pull it back out of here. So what I do when I'm working on one is I write down, like, so this one had 22 colors. So what I do is I write number one and I write the DMC number. So number one was 3727. And this is how I put these in here. Oh, you can probably see right through it. So number one, I put the DMC, I put one and then the DMC number. And I went all the way down to 22, which is 22. And 22 was 943 and I wrote the uh, 943 in there. 
because now I, di I didn't need the symbol number because this belongs to this. Now that I'm finished, these are all my leftovers. So there's quite a bit left over in there. So what uh, I also bought from Timu, no, actually I didn't buy them from Timu. They're from um, Dollarama. So I had seen these and I asked Kelly and Kevin if they could pick me up four of them because I wasn't gonna get to a Dollarama and they did and I was very thankful for that and I went to their house and picked them up but then I was counting and I forget how many is in here. And 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 64. So it holds 64 colors. So what I did was I took my labels from Timu that are in that uh, color code and I labeled every single one of them. So I started at the 150. I didn't do, I didn't do these single numbers. I have not even done the one to 99 yet because I'm not sure what they are because they are a bigger sticker as well. Well, maybe they're not. They are a bigger sticker. So I didn't do those or the letters, but what I did was I started at the 150 that was down at the bottom and I'm not even sure what these ones are, the B5200. So anyway, I started here and that's how I went. And I filled eight of these so I was lucky to find four more when I went shopping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these out of here, put them in their numbers, and now I have another empty one of these to start another diamond art. So I did four of them. This one is the 150 to 369. And you'll see a lot of them don't have anything in them, but eventually they will because the more I do, the more I'm gonna have some of these colors. This one went 370 to 612. So that's all I did was I took the stickers and I numbered them all. And like you can see. So actually in this front one, 310, did I put two in? No, I only put one in. I actually have a bag that's not even opened, so I didn't bother, but what I could do is just, I'd have to move them all over into the last one if I wanted to put two three tens in here. I'm gonna put them upside down because they are in order. This one has 613 to 798. And I've, you know, filled it into some of them. So I do like that I've done this. This one is 799 to 928. And you can see it kind of is like oranges and greens and just the different shades. And that's those ones filled. So you do, you will end up with quite a few extra beads. Now why I want to keep them like this is because <clears throat> if I get another one and I'm short a color, I will look to see if I have it. You can also custom make, say one of these and maybe you want to switch it up or maybe maybe you want to change the colors of one you're doing you can do it there's no rule saying you can't this one is 930 and it ended at the 996 and then that 3011 started so this one's got quite a bit in it too this one is 3325 to 3802. And that one's got, you know, quite a few got some in there too. Push them back so they're not in your way. This one was 3803 to 3865. Now, I'm assuming this is all we need for diamond painting because that's what they that's what these were for, right? Now, this one, number eight, only has 3866 in it. So I have all these extras. But like I said, if I want to switch, say I have 
two or three of the black, um, then I would, you know, move these on and I would probably fill this more. But I also have the little fancy ones that I did. So these were all little fancy gems. There was like little green stars and stuff. So I haven't transferred these into here yet, but I could, and they would fill, you know, some of these ones as well. I haven't decided if I wanna just leave them like this till I get more, or if I'm gonna transfer them in. Because I have a ton of these as well, because when I had ordered them, they had accidentally sent me a whole bunch. So <clears throat> these ones have been already used as well. I did peel off the little stickers. They do leave some residue and I don't have any goo gone left. So I need to order some from Amazon because I can't find it at the Dollarama. And then I need to uh, clean them all. So that and uh, yeah, so these are from Dollarama. These are from Timu. So I just wanted to share that with you. And this is the one I'm working on now. I was going to pull out my Titanic because I do really want to do that one, but I also really wanted to do this one as well. <clears throat> so I started this one last night and this one is from Dollarama. So Dollaramas are $4, but some of these ones um, that you can find on Timu are, might even be less than $5 or $4. So go check them out. Yeah, so that is everything. A whole half an hour just to talk. <laughs> All right, I am going to go and put water in this and some of my solution and uh, figure out where this little rubber piece goes. And I'll be back because we need to clean some brushes. I'll be back. All righty, I have it plugged in. I put water up to the max line there. I hope you guys can see. This just sits on the top. Let me use my other hand. So I have some of this e.l.f. Uh, brush cleaner that I bought at Dollar Tree. So we're gonna just put some of that in. Just a little bit. That should do it. And then I brought a few different sized brushes just to see what would fit. So I was going to poke whoa, one of these ones here. These are, see, this one's not going to fit. If you have a big brush like this, it's not going to fit. But all the little ones will. So I'm going to woo, see how many we can put in. I'll adjust them if I need to. Oh, this one's a double-sided one that I have, but we'll just do the one side. Okay, that one didn't want to stay. Let's push you. I see, we can push into one of these smaller ones. Just make sure I don't wreck the brush. All right, so my brushes are in. I'm going to need to bring them up higher, this one especially. And I probably don't have the arm strength to do that. Okay. Yeah, we gotta pull this one up more. Okay, hold on. Push it uh, through. It probably won't be as hard for you if uh, you uh, have some arm strength. I'm today. I'm not doing so good. <laughs> You're seeing the real Caroline today. Ugh, yeah. Anyways, that that itself doesn't snap on. It just sits there. All right, I'm gonna hold it and we're gonna hit the power button. But like I said, this big one that I have won't fit in. It, I don't know if it'll splash up because if you didn't have that on, but we'll see. Are you ready? Oh, it's not working. Oh, there we go. Oh, it lights up and it has bubbles. Okay, I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here, but it stopped. 
Oh, look at that. Okay, so I needed to push the brushes in more or it won't work properly because I'm stopping it when I go hit the bottom. It looks all right. I'm gonna try this one in because I know this one's going to be dirty. Yeah, so you, you don't have to have this lid on. You could just stick your brushes in. You never drag that pip towel over it. So I followed, oh, that smells good. I followed the instructions, but it didn't say what this was for, but I'm assuming this is, uh, let me just sit this back in here. Yeah, these need to be up more for this to work. Let's pull this one out. It won't, definitely won't go up anymore. There, so little brush, it's basically for your little brushes. So I'm gonna take these. Oh, I'm gonna rub them on this because I'm pretty sure that's what this is for. To get all the dirt out. And I do have dirt on this one. So let's try to put this one back in. Can you guys see me? Yeah, because there's nothing on the bottom there to really scrub your brush with. The water is dirty, so I know it's working. Let's see if that helped this brush out any. I'm going to clean that up. Do you guys see? Yeah, there's a lot of dirt in this brush. So I would maybe brush your brush on the little thing. How's this one? See, cause now I've got this so filthy dirty. I do have a bigger rubber pad one that sticks to the counter that I'll use. Well, it is working. Yes, I make messes all over the place all the time. Oh yeah, the water is filthy. Oh, let me see if I can lift this up without dropping this. Oh, here, I'll do this. Where are we? The water is filthy, can you see it? So it works. And I haven't, I haven't cleaned these brushes for a while because I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore. That one's nice and clean and it's not even dirty on the, uh, not even dirty on the paper towel. Oh, and maybe what you could do is just leave your brushes sitting in it to dry. Look at that. That's what I'm going to do. So hopefully you guys seen everything I did there. Don't mind the green flashing light, sorry. That's you guys plugged in because when you do FaceTime, it <laughs> drains the battery. Let's see if we can get these bigger ones cleaner. I do like it though, I'm quite happy with it. I can leave it sitting on my makeup table. Yeah, that's the paper towel. So the dirt did come off. I would have used um, BB cream on this. I don't wear foundation. If I even put makeup on, it's BB cream. I usually just go natural. I throw on mascara, something on my lips, and I'm good to go. Let's see if we can do this one again. So maybe you should wait till it's uh, spinning and then put your brush in. I 
Normally when I do my brushes, I would spray the cleaner on it. I would rub it on my little mat that I have and then I would do it on the paper towel until it came clean. But I kind of like this, if we can stick these in here for these to uh, hold. Look at that. That's what I would do. All right, I'm gonna empty this. I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I empty it. All right, so I've threw the water out and I didn't rinse it or anything and it looks pretty clean in there. I'm just gonna take a piece of paper towel. I'm just gonna rub it around the bottom there just to see what residue is in here. And I don't have any at all, it's clean. Now the plug, has to be plugged into USB and this is uh, permanently attached. It does not come off. Neither does the bottom or, yeah, so. I like it, it works well. And it will keep those makeup brushes clean. Alrighty, so that is the end of this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you liked out of my Timu haul. I'm very pleased with everything that I ordered and I did get a uh, $1.14 price adjustment. So what I do is I just have them put it right into my account because uh, I'm always spending with them anyway, right? And right away it's, it's a credit on your account. So let me know what you liked out of the Timu haul. Was it my little basket for my bread? Was it the makeup brush cleaner? Was it the cover book for the diamond art? Was it the magnetic little um, bookmarks that you don't want to throw in your tea? Because it's paper. <laughs> We're throwing this one out, yeah. It fell apart. I like them though. Or was it this little uh, credit card style love note? Anyways, let me know what you liked and uh, oh, and from the and from the thrift store haul, right, Max? I will try and put the prices down for you to show you what I paid for this. And um, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Take care, and I will catch us all on my next video. Don't forget to like and uh subscribe and also comment down below because i love to read them and interact with everybody so until my next video take care bye for now say bye max mama's gonna go make you a dinner now mm -hmm. <laughs> bye everyone Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. good times <laughs> never been so good so good so, so good.